So guys, hope you have understood what this chapter is all about. It's about the constraint and we'll be using juggling effectively to show how the constraint works out and how we can use the constraint effectively. So without further wasting much time, let's go and see how the juggling can be made. This is one of the chapters where the newcomers majorly seems to get stuck up. So let's see what's there in the juggling. In this chapter, we will show how a man is juggling a ball. It is a continuation of the previous chapters of constraint. But here we will also show you how independently we can use the ball in spite of being in constraint with one of the hands. So this character is holding the ball in one hand. From here, he throws the ball. The sphere goes up and will come to this hand. Again from here, the sphere will come and come to this hand. So just we'll do this animation a bit so that it will be convenient for us. So he throws the ball and then here the ball comes up. That we will adjust, not a problem. And there he comes the ball again. And there he keeps for some time. And then he again throws the ball. This hand which was there earlier here. And it keeps here and then it goes down. And this is how we can do the ball. So first this hand throws the ball up. So what we have done. All we have to do is hold the parent, hold the child, constraint, parent, constraint. So we know that from frame number 1 to frame number 5, he will throw the ball. From frame number 5 to frame number wherever, the sphere will come down. So and the sphere will come and go from here to here. So that will be done. So we'll go to frame number 5. At frame number 5, the ball is getting independent of the hand. So what we have to do is still frame number 5, the ball will be in touch of the left hand, sorry, of the right hand. So the blend parent will be 1. In fact, we'll go to frame number 1 and again we'll key it the blend parent. Key selected, here also key selected and we'll come here. Blend parent till here, it is blending with this one. So we'll do key selected and from 5 to 6, we will detach the ball. So we will make it 0 as well as this blend parent, we will make it 0. So now the ball will be bouncing and will be coming in this hand. I want to make that the ball will be touching this hand at frame number. Sorry, it is like a bit way ahead at frame number 16. So from frame number 6 to frame number 16, the ball will come to this the left hand so ball the frame number it will come to here and of course it cannot go like straight so what we will do we will take up the ball and then we will follow it here as you know any object takes more time to go up and less time to come down so what we will do we'll, we will be also using the bouncing ball principle here so now you see the ball comes here and settles it in frame number 16 it touches the hand so what we will do Till frame number 15, the ball will be not in touch with this left hand in frame number 16. What we will do, hold this hand, hold the child that is the ball, constrain and parent constrain. Now you see what happens. You see the same error which is happening because here also from the very beginning, the left hand is also having control of the ball. Make it zero. The zero will continue till how long? I mean to say till how long the left hand will not be having control of the sphere it will be having till frame number 15 so key selected the ball is also independent of any of the hands and then in 16 the ball becomes attached to this left hand so when it is attached what do we have to do we have to give full power on the hand with which it is getting attached that is the left hand and also the blend parent has to be one that is blending completely with the parent and then it again throws the ball up and the ball will be leaving somewhere at 27 or 20 from this hand and it will again come to this hand where it is throwing it is in 28 
so let it consider key let it take 10 frames 28 to 38 or maybe in 40 that the ball will be coming to this hand so what we will do see this ball is still attached to this left hand so even if we do it we moved it we keyed it here but still the ball is here so till 28 or 29 the ball will be in touch with this hand will make it in 27 so here key it key selected in 28 it will be independent of any of these arms so the total dependency will make it zero by transferring the blend parent and here also will make it zero so now you see the ball is independent of any of the hands and now you can see automatically the ball which we did here is coming on this hand but see the key was not done earlier so make it zero and now you see how things work out so of course in somewhere here or here will take up the ball the ball lands on this hand and again in which frame the ball touches it touches in 40 so from 40 to 45 or wherever you want this hand also comes down but since the ball is not touching the hand or i should say that the parent is not having any effect on this sphere now so of course the ball will get unaffected so what we have to do is nothing we don't have to create a parent child relationship again because the relationship is already being created earlier we just have to pay attention towards a switch so till 39 the ball is independent of any of its parents and then in 40 which parent we should be valuing it is the right hand where is the right hand right hand is zero make it to one be selected and of course the blend parent also because if you don't give any value to the blend parent no matter what you do the ball will get unaffected give the blend parent to one also he selected now you see so now if you want to use the bouncing ball principle then go to the graph editor it will be mostly mostly the translation y if you can remember from the bouncing ball principle in which frame it is bouncing the bouncing is happening in frame number six so break tangent here comes over here and then which hand it touches in frame number 16 it touches break tangent here delete this key it's of no use so you see here you want more floating or hang time of the ball that's also fine again come here and make the break tangent so guys you see how it works out so this is how the juggling of the ball happens here the ball is control of this right hand but here while he's throwing the ball in these places there is absolutely no control of any of these hands over the ball. So in this way, you can make the ball parent to the hands as well as independent of the hands and have its own action. Now you see from this frame, from frame number 6 to frame number 15, the ball is independent of any of the hands. So no matter if you move it or if you move it, the ball does not get affected at all. So guys, hope this tutorial has been of some use to you. For further explanation and for any queries, there has been a mail which has been provided in the description link below. Feel free to contact me for any further clarifications or details pertaining to constraint. So for the time being, let's say goodbye from TechMech. Ciao.